So, what do you know about the Montevallo ghost stories, Kathy? Well, I know the real stories. Some people think they know the whole story, but I know the real stories. And the biggest story that we have, uh, the biggest and most famous ghost, I should say, is Condi Cunningham, who um, was burned in a fire in Main Dorm in 1908. This here is the door to Connie Cunning Cunningham's room. And it was relocated here to Carmichael Library after it started spooking some of the students out following the incident. Hmm, what is this little marking here? That does kind of look like a face. An upside down face. Hold on. Okay. That's actually pretty creepy. It's actually a lot more visible on camera than it is in, with a human eye. A little bit about Condi Cunningham. She was 16 years old and she had a roommate and we're not really sure what room she actually was in in Main Dorm. At the time there was only one wing, the um, west wing, was, or the east wing. I forget which wing, but there was just one wing built at the time in 1908. And um, of course it was all girls and they had a matron that lived in the dorm with them, an older woman. And it was um, her job to ring a bell and make sure the girls were um, going to bed on time. So at 9.30, they would get a warning to stop what they were doing and get ready to go to sleep. At 10 o'clock, the lights went out. And so Condi and her roommate were cooking um, fudge, like chocolate, on a chafing dish with an alcohol burner that was like a Bunsen burner. And alcohol was the flame. And... Um, they neglected, either they didn't hear or they didn't pay attention to the 9.30 bell. So when it got close to 10 o'clock and the bell rang, they were, they knew they were going to be in trouble. The girls used to get demerits and things like that and they would get in trouble for things like that. So they hurried up and were trying to put everything away and in their haste to put everything away, they knocked over the alcohol that was the fuel and it was still burning. And so the alcohol fell, you know, kind of spilled and it went up the back of Condi's nightgown. She was wearing a flannel nightgown. And instead of, like nowadays, we tell our kids to drop, stop, and roll. Or uh, like, primitive you know. primitive <laughs> safety systems. Yeah, but instead she went, she ran, and she ran down the hall screaming. And the whole gown was engulfed in flames. Yeah, horrible way to die. Yeah, and they did manage to throw what they called a rug. I'm sure it was more of a blanket on her. But she did pass away two days later. And as two outcomes came about as a result of that accident. Number one, um, we the school did not have an infirmary at the time, so they created an infirmary. And in fact, the first infirmary was King House, and then Peterson Hall was the infirmary for many, many years. And the other thing, they had these, um, they contacted a company, and outside of Maine now, you can still see the metal tube. Those are fire escapes. That, those were um, built right after the accident, and those are not like typical fire escapes, they're, they're like um, spiral slides. And so the girls, if there ever was another fire, the girls would get into the slide and slide down to the bottom. They've since closed them, they have regular old, you know, normal fire escapes now. Yeah. But in 1908 that was considered pretty high tech. So. But she did pass away. Her father was a um, a judge up in Birmingham, and um, we have a copy of her obituary and everything else. So it was very sad. Very sad. Yeah. So that's the true story. That's it. about Reynolds? Reynolds? Oh, well, the, everything you've heard about Reynolds is, is just a rumor. 
It was never a Civil War hospital. In fact, it played no role whatsoever that we have any evidence of during the Civil War. So it's not really haunted. It was never a hospital. No one was ever killed there. It was a boys' school originally. And during the Civil War, we have no evidence of any role that it served. So anything you've heard about people being massacred is simply not true. Okay, then. <laughs>
king. Did I just see that curtain move? Or am I just being freaked out by my own reflections? Okay, I think I just saw that curtain up there move. Perhaps it's haunted, perhaps it's not. If only I were allowed inside the building. 